You're watching Football Daily and here's this week's biggest transfer news and headlines. This week we've been asking you guys to keep your eyes peeled for any rumours and then tweet them in. If you want to get involved next week, hit me up on Twitter with the hashtag TransferTalk. The first rumour comes from London and it seems that Diego Simeone could be willing to take advantage of Arsenal's reluctance to offer star man Alexi Sanchez a new contract worth over 200 thousand pounds a week. Los Rojas Blancos are willing to offer Sanchez 220,000 pounds a week. That's about 60k more than Arsenal currently have on the table. Simeone is apparently looking at the Chilean as he prepares for life after Antoine Griezmann, with Marker even claiming that everyone at the club expects the striker to join Manchester United in July. The Sun back this up and report that when Griezmann's buyout clause of 86 million pounds is reached, this will free up the sufficient funds in order to bid £35 million and pay Sanchez's salary. From the red side of London to the blue, and it seems out of favour defender Branislav Ivanovic is close to agreeing a three and a half year deal with Zenit St. Petersburg. The defender, who may have scored his last goal for Chelsea on the weekend, has also aroused interest from Leicester City, West Brom and Crystal Palace. I'm just surprised West Ham weren't in for it. It's the Daily Star that are reporting the English moves. However, it seems that the Premier League trio might be too late, with the Serbian already agreeing personal terms with Zenit. Whilst there are talks about players leaving the capital, there are also rumours about players coming in, with Karim Benzema apparently being offered to the likes of Chelsea and Arsenal, according to the Metro. Florentino Perez has reportedly grown frustrated with the 29-year-old and is ready to axe him in favour of giving 24-year-old Alvaro Morata a more prominent place in the starting eleven. Like us, Arsene Wenger isn't buying into the Metro's bullshit though, saying there is no need for us to buy any strikers. And that seems like it could be true, with that guy Danny Welbeck on fire once again. Over to Italy now, and it seems that Barcelona and Manchester United have both ruled themselves out of signing Argentinian troublemaker Mauro Icardi. That's right, the 23-year-old who is married to his former best friend's ex-wife has scored 16 goals in just 24 games for Inter Milan but it seems his bad boy attitude is putting a host of clubs off him. L'Equipe Le are even claiming that Paris Saint-Germain have vetoed the signing of Mauro Icardi, but they also claim that this could be down to his £100 million buyout clause. Whilst one Serie A striker is apparently staying, one is definitely leaving. And it seems Claude Puel is on the verge of completing a deal with Napoli for Manolo Gabbiadini. In fact, it could be done and dusted by the time this video goes live. The Mirror are reporting that a fee of around £17 million has been agreed for the Italian international, with a £40,000 a week contract that includes a 10% sell-on fee for Napoli. Amazingly, that will break Southampton's record fee for a player. The Saints are keen on the striker, with Charlie Austin injured until the spring, and the Italian has even flown to London to complete a medical and sign the required paperwork. Just before we head to our next transfer story, make sure you get your questions for our Sunday Q&A in the comments now using the hashtag SundayVibes. Or you're much more likely to be featured if you send a video question to our Facebook page, The Football Daily. There's a link on screen now and in the description. We're heading up north now where The Guardian have been printing utter shit and claiming that Liverpool are eyeing up a £70 million bid for Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang to replace Daniel Sturridge. Come on lads, you're better than that. This story seems to come from the fact that Sturridge has struggled with injuries and game time this season. And that's certainly something you can't say about Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang who has 16 goals in 16 league matches. But Dortmund director Hans-Joachim Vatska says that the club would not let go of the Gabon International for anything less than £60 million. And let's not forget the little fact that Aubameyang himself said he doesn't want to play in England. So overall, we think this is complete and utter bollocks. But do you agree? Vote in the poll right now. Celtic fans, you may want to hide behind your sofa. As Sky claim that Chelsea have inquired into the possibility of signing French forward Moussa Dembele. The London club are reportedly interested at the moment, however the hoops are reluctant to sell and will not listen to any bid under £40 million. The 20-year-old is allegedly interested in moving back to London, having previously played for Fulham, but with just hours of the transfer window left, this one looks more likely to happen in the summer. And finally, Brown was the first of many who tweeted in to tell us about the Slytherin himself, the Dark Lord, he who shall not be named. Dimitri Payet, who's officially been transferred back to his old club Marseille for £25 
million pounds. Snake. So there we have it, but what do you guys at home think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, why don't you click here for loads more great content and down there to subscribe. And as always guys, we'll catch you later.